right, so we're going to start with shooting with the Ricoh Theta Z1 camera. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have enough battery and your camera is there. Uh, the second thing you have to do is make sure that you have the app installed, which is the Ricoh Theta app. And when you install the app, um, you will have to connect it to the Wi-Fi of the camera. So the instructions are in the, in the um, uh, manual that you get, so we're not going to go too, in too much detail with it. But once you've connected to your camera, um, you should see it like this, where you can start shooting immediately. So click on shooting and you'll see a preview image of what your camera is seeing. There you go. Now you can see the shoot, the shot where you are. You have to make sure that the HDR is activated to HDR rendering. EV is on zero and ISO is set to auto. Once you're done with this, you're ready for your shoot. So the other thing that you have to be really aware of is make sure that your lens is clean. So always, before every shoot, make sure that you've cleaned both lenses of your camera. The next thing you want to make sure is that your camera is level. Even though this camera has auto level included in the camera, you still want to make sure that your camera is nice and level so your images look nice and straight. The third thing you want to make sure is that the camera on the tripod is around 1 meter 20. Some people put the camera really high and what happens inside the virtual tour is that you always have to start looking down. You have to constantly switch, swipe your phone to look down and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that the, that the person who's looking at your tour just looks around and doesn't have to look down the whole time because your camera was too high. Then what you have to make sure is what I always do is I go and stand in the position of the camera and I literally turn around to see if there's anything in the shot that you don't want to have in your shot. Funny, you might find a bag somewhere, you know, anything like this. Just make sure that that's out of the shot and the shot looks nice. So stand in the place of your camera, turn around and see if there's anything that is out of order. You need to make sure that you know where to hide. With this camera, you can make the shot in one go, but you need to not be in the shot yourself. So you need to make sure that you know where you're going to hide. It's sometimes, if the hiding place is a little bit far away, you might want to set your camera on the timer so that the timer is maybe five or six seconds or 10 seconds, and then you have time to go hide behind a rock or a tree or wherever you, uh, so that you're out of the shot. You still have to make sure all the lights are on. So even if the light is coming through the window, still switch on all the lights. Open all the curtains, make sure that the maximum amount of light is coming into the room to get the best possible image for, you, for your shot. So now we're going to start and make the first virtual tour shot. What you have to make sure of is that you shoot in 90 degree angles and in straight lines. So in this room in particular, you're not gonna make a shot here and then another shot diagonally over there. You wanna make sure that you go straight out around the corner, how a normal human being would walk through a room. So we put the camera, make sure it's level, all the lights are on, camera's clean, everything is ready to go, and all we have to do is go hide and click on the button. To view your images, click on the image, and now you can see the image that has been taken. There you go, it was that simple. And as I said before, we have to go in straight lines and 90 degree angles. So the next shot will be right here in the corner. Make sure everything is clear. Hide away from the camera and take your shot. Now that that image is done, the last shot we're going to take is in this corner here to make sure that we can then follow on that way or down the hallway this way. Hide away from the camera. And that's the shot done. And now we can move on.